Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome to actual humankind gameplay. Now, this is not the release version of the game. It is uh, one of the demos. It's uh, the open dev sort of thing, which is something like their version of early access. And what's going to happen is that we're allowed to record and stream and all of this stuff for humankind and you can see there's various events coming up. Today we are checking out the Towers of Babylon. Now I'm not sure what exactly these are, apparently they're timed events like we can play this one for a little while for this weekend for example and the Towers of Babylon. Discovery, small steps, growth. Standing at the center of civilization Babylon is was and always will be one of the greatest cities in the world. The greatest cities the world has ever seen. It is your turn to write a chapter in its glorious history. How will you be remembered? Completion time estimation 45 minutes. So let's click on that. Start scenario Towers of Babylon. Ah, oh, so this should be about a 45 minute video as we check out this scenario gameplay. Towers of Babylon, current era classical, uh, current culture Babylonians. Originally a modest Mesopotamian city, Babylon, which in Akkadian means the gate of the gods, became be between the beginning of the second millennium. And the text is gone. Towers of Babylon. Let me tell you the story of this glorious city, how it began, how it expanded, how it thrived. Long ago, Babylon was little more than a dusty square and a smattering of market stalls, but its people had big dreams. Grow Babylon, explore its environs, and settle new lands, expand and fortify the city. The fate of Babylon is in your hands. Objective is to raise a great city of many souls, protected by many armies, and whose influence stretches into new lands. Understood. Uh, and here we are, Babylon, here on this cliff. Uh, the game ends in 29 turns, so we've got uh, not a lot of time. Let's get things started. Okay, so let's see what we've got. We've got uh, this regiment. Scouts, scouts, right? I guess we're just gonna send them over to go get stuff. So, if you haven't seen the original gameplay overview video, uh, I recommend you go watch that. I made one of those. I also have a video explaining uh, how armies work. Now, if you didn't know, armies are groups which can have four units in them, and uh, there's a lot to it. I spent like 10 minutes talking about it. Uh, let's see. No research selected. Let us get... Let's, let's get domestication, sure. We're gonna go for that. One idle city. Let us build farmer's quarter, market quarter, millstone plus four food. Should I get more scouts? Do I still have... Yeah, I got plenty of generals. Tanning racks plus two money per number of territories. You know, it's probably a good idea to just get the millstone, then maybe another scout. And we'll go with that. Okay, good. By the way, if you have any questions about the game, you can ask in the comments down below, and I'll try to get back to you with uh, uh, as much information as I can. Um, I am on the, the Discord for Humankind, the, the developer's Discord, so I can ask them questions. Hmm. Game ends in 28 turns. We don't have a lot of time. Uh, let's, let's keep exploring. Try and find something of use. Animal remains, five science, great. Uh -huh. Let's just keep going here. Animal lair, this is a lair, destroy it and you will stop the associated animal from spawning. Right, humankind, if you didn't know, is kind of like civilization, but it's more story questy based, right? It's, it's kind of like that. Because you see here, Era Star is not available in this scenario. Usually this is the core mechanic. I explained this in, in the other video as well. Um, you'll be getting these. these. These would be your objectives. But for now, this this focus of this open dev scenario is to um, just grow your city, I think. By the way, this is our Babylonian ability. Uh, can set cities into science mode. Unlocks an action. Convert to science on empire. Right. Let's end the turn. 
Okay, so obviously I'm not super experienced with this game. Let's try walk over to the sanctuary. Uh, I guess we can't with scouts. It's fine. Oh, it's the, it's a mammoth. It's a mammoth. Preview. You know, can we can we just can I just show you combat right now? <laughs> All right. I don't know how this is gonna go, but combat and armies is very good. Your side is stronger overall, apparently. And now I can take some time to actually explain these things. You've engaged an enemy in battle. If this was a mistake, you can cancel the attack by using the retreat button. If you do so, your army will be moved automatically using its maximum movement points, no matter if they've spent any already. It's just they run away as far as they can. Uh, you can also left click on the confirm battle button to commence the fight. Uh, so let me do that. Confirm battle. So then there's a deployment phase. Now, this combat makes combat way, way more tactical, which I do really like. However, the main concern is in the late game when you have like 20 battles going on. It's going to be a lot to manage. It's going to be a lot, right? Anyway, uh, we can... Can we deploy on the high ground? No, we can't, I think, because there's no path down. Sometimes if there's a path down, you could deploy on the high ground. But, you know, we just got two scouts. Like, do I want there? Do I want there? I can put it back there. Uh, it's just, you know, deployment phase. When you're satisfied and the deployment, you can also use the auto battle. I'm not going to auto battle right now. In battle, support reinforcements. This is all. Oh, there's the auto battle button. So some of this UI has changed from the last time I played the game. Uh, they specifically didn't want to show off military and combat last time because the UI was particularly kind of jank and confusing. <laughs> this this does seem like there's been some uh, improvements. Let's end deployment. So now you can see turn one of one in round one of five. So this this is much clearer than it was before. Um, Basically, we have turns in this battle, which are all taking place on one turn in the overworld, right? The battle round. Every turn, there are three battle rounds. So there's three battle rounds here. Of course, huge battles can last much longer than three battles. It does stretch. Also, like the size of the battle area can change. So for example, here, we can't move out of here. This is the arena that we are in. Uh, as you advance through the areas, the number of battle rounds will generally increase. Uh -huh. Each unit can only move and attack once per battle round. Okay, so we can left click. Oh, wait. There's... The mammoth has support. The deer has reinforced the mammoth. <laughs> He's got a friend. <laughs> All right. Um, so obviously you can see those spiky bits. I'm assuming that is bad for us. I think we just charge into the mammoth and hope we do okay. Okay, we hit the mammoth. Not so great. Um, that's run. Hovering the cursor over an opponent's unit while having your unit panel open. Uh -huh. Confrontation simulation. Right, so like this. This is the confrontation simulation. <sighs> Let's hit it again. Note but, uh, that you can end a round any time by left-clicking on the clock button. He just charged right into us, look at that. And we can also go into auto battle, no problem. Wildlife AI is playing. Okay, the mammoth is almost down. That deer is gonna help out. Look at that, flanked, flanked by wildlife. <laughs> All right, um, so that's, that's one round done. So there's probably more than three rounds here because there were reinforcements. Uh, I, is this going to finish them off? Minus two from heavily damaged damage units have less strength, which is important. Mammoth down. Now you. Uh, I'm actually going to try retreat this guy because he's really weak and I'm kind of scared it's going to die to that deer. Okay, deer is chasing. They have so much movement speed. Okay. Well, deer, it's time to get flanked. 
My spoils of war, 50 money. And then we all come back to where we were, and the battle has resolved. Battle report, the battle has ended, the outcome is already visible, but if you want to learn more, you can left click on this panel. So this is the overview of the battle. Battle aftermath, it lasted for one turn and three rounds. Uh, so basically when it reaches the end of the, the available rounds, we go to the next turn in the overworld. Uh, we destroyed two, lost 100%. We lost 72% of our health and 12% of our strength. Right. Okay. Good. Ah. Now, uh, what? this is a terrain area. We could build... Do we want to build an outpost all the way over here? Probably not. I think I actually want to bring these guys back to build an outpost. To expand our territory. Actually, where are we? Can I just build an outpost here? How much... Found a new outpost in any neutral territory. Consumes all the army's movement points. Sure. Let's... Set it up right here. So outpost is a way of claiming territory. Right? There's these territory sort of things going on. Ah, now, infrastructure. Uh, within construction lists as well as units and extensions, you'll also find infrastructures. Each city can only build one of these special buildings, and they are not placed on the map. They will directly improve the city. So this is an infrastructure thing I'm building, I think. Uh, let's build one by left-clicking on its illustration. The Tanning Rex. Okay, after we get this scout. Next turn. All right, that was a very eventful turn too. You guys saw some combat, um, so you not know how that works now. By the way, units can have more abilities and stuff. There, there are some unique units which have poison abilities. There's, of course, ranged units and all sorts of things. The construction queue, uh, yes, takes some more industry to be built. Understood. Construction queues, easy enough. Two idle armies. We got this guy here. Uh, can I build... Do I want the science? Found an outpost for 45. Yeah, you're gonna go that way. Yeah, we can merge our armies, but I'm not gonna do that now. By the way, the number of armies or units you can have on the map is limited by your generals. You see, we started with 20. We have two armies, so we now have 18. Okay, good. One idle army. You guys set this up. That's a sanctuary there. Uh, let's head down this way. What is this? Horses. Oh, and we found more deer. Let's not fight the deer. Instead, let's just keep scouting, shall we? Oh, they're exhausted and they're very damaged. Probably should heal them up if we could. Order your armies to complete their movements. Okay, right. Oh, there's a deer in the way. Look at that. Okay, uh, this deer is kind of in our way. Uh, can we fight you? Sure. Let's confirm battle. Let's turn on auto battle and let them handle it. Got it. Done. Very nice. Thank you. Now, I was going to set up, I was going to claim this territory here. So you're going to have to go do that. Meanwhile, you are going to swing back this way, reveal this terrain. Is that Mercury? Oh, that's Mercury right there. Okay. Uh, ooh, what is this? The Sabu Sakasti? Levy recruits armed and trained to fight in exchange for access to temple owned land really cannot be done without enough strategic deposit resources so we're actually going for this copper uh so in the meantime let's build a district a farmer's quarter uh right here on the lowland that makes a lot of sense farmer's quarter going down right there domestication Researched. The taming and breeding of wild animals such as pigs and buffalo bring new means of eating and working. Unlocks 
Animal Barns. Let's open the research panel. Uh, can I check out the technology screen? Yep, yeah, here we go. We can see a whole bunch of texts. We got domestication. Seems like... Oh, nice illustration that... Oh, there's like a nice little illustration that goes with every tech. You can see how far do they show us up until the classical era. So we're currently in ancient. It can go up to classical. Foreign outposts, imperial power, and siege tactics. The game does continue further into the modern era. But for now, let us get... Calendar. That seems important, right? Carpentry allows us to clear forests. It's okay. Okay, one idle army, still scouting here. Just reveal more, okay, nice. And turn. So this... Is that mammoth gonna attack us? Well, we have claimed this territory, so these two territories are ours now. It mainly costs money to do that. Missing the technology to extract that. Okay, you are gonna run this way now. Let's, Let's run away from that mammoth. So, because I don't want to fight that. There's another sanctuary that... Uh, unit selection. Through the army panel, you can use all the army's actions. Uh-huh, it's all there. Very good. Um, discovered... Danakil Desert. You are the first to discover the Danakil Desert, a natural wonder. Oh, this is a special desert. Okay. Oh, and here's here's the map. It's actually not that big. It's not that big. Uh, you... Uh, uh, we can't... This action is not implemented. <laughs> Sleep until healed. Okay. Uh, they, they are... The ability to sleep is not implemented. That is fine. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's end the turn. Game ends in 22 turns. We've got calendar. Okay. Uh, complete your movements, please. Two idle armies. Ransack. Okay, this is how we deal with sanctuaries. Thank you for tutorializing this. You can destroy layers and enemy outposts or quarters using the ransack action. An army can only ransack a tile if it is able to reach it during the same turn. So here we go. Let's ransack the sanctuary. What do we get from this? Oh, it's gonna take a turn? The spawn point is being ransacked, providing loot. 22 coins! Okay, that will pay for us to claim this territory. Uh, meanwhile, you... Um, can we claim this territory? There's that mercury right there. Let's go claim this territory. And then pick a research, let us get... So there's a lot of... Empire bonus. Most of the technologies unlock constructible game content, units, infrastructures, extensions, etc. Others, however, unlock a specific uh, type of content called Empire bonuses. These bonuses are immaterial and will immediately apply across the Empire. Empire bonuses. For example... Oh, these effects. Plus one science on exploitation. Plus five stability for a number of the same repeatable on city center. I see. Plus one science on research quarters, plus two science on research quarters. Right. There's a lot of stuff. Plus two stability per number of territories. Okay. Um, meanwhile, uh, how do we get... There's bronze working. Let's head towards bronze working, shall we? End the turn. Complete your movements. Claim this territory. You've ransacked that, giving us money. Great. Uh, to set up another territory. Do I have enough? No, we need 75. That's fine. A ransack done. You have destroyed the lair. Hover over the ransack icon to see your spoils. 22 coins. Great. Oh, see how that terrain ra rises out of the ground? It's really good, right? Let's enter. There's something we can pick up there. 
We're only getting plus eight per turn, which is um, not so great. So let's go grab this. There's the coast. Oh, there's something over here as well. Oh, we can't reach it. Wait, is there? Oh, there's a deer there. That probably slowed our movement. Okay, no problem. Uh, you've claimed this territory. Great. I'm on it. Let's make your way over here. Another sanctuary. Ooh, another pickup as well. Okay, Idol City. We've got this farmer's district on the low ground. Uh, extension construction. Your city is now set up uh, in a territory. The territory's borders are painted in your empire's colors, and any extension can be built in this territory. Quarters will expand around the exploited area of your city and increase its production. Left click on a quarter and place it on the map to begin its construction. Right, quarters. Common quarters. Epicenter of the city's political... Okay, is there a good spot for this? It says here, plus 12. Minus 2 industry or production. I guess, sure. Let's build our commons quarter. Epicenter of the city's political apparatus here, our legion of bureaucrats ensure the smooth running of our civilization. Plus one influence, plus two stability, plus five stability per adjacent extension. So I think the farmer's quarters counts as one. Plus one public servant slot on settlement. Great. That's going to be constructed. Oh, look, there's like a ruler on the edge. That's nice. Uh, scientist affinity. You've chosen a scientist culture, right? Each culture has like a, a thing they're, they're into. So there can be farming cultures like the Harapans, Babylonians are science. Um, you now have access to a special action related to science. Let's select one of your cities to learn how to use it and discover its effects. Currently not active in the city, it's this thing. Science mode converts industry and money into science. This mode can be deactivated at no cost after five turns. I think I will not do that quite yet. I think I'm not going to do that quite yet. Oh, this... The deer is blocking. Fine. Come over I here. guess I'll just... Skip a turn and wait. You right. can grab this one. Old Horde, 10 gold. That's great. There's another one over there. Just reveal this. Great. Uh, what is this? Uh, resource deposit. This element indicates uh, the location of a resource deposit. Uh, resources can be exploited by a city or an outpost in the same territory. There are two types of resources, strategic and luxury. Yeah, we know what those are. You can mouse over to learn details. Okay, so this is salt, right? That is copper. We're trying to get copper. But let's have a look at this outpost before we can get the copper. Outpost management. Once you've created an outpost, the territory where it is located is considered claimed and belongs to you. No one else can create an outpost there unless an opponent has open borders with you. They can no longer lawfully set foot inside either. If for some reason you are not satisfied with the position of your outpost, you can relocate it somewhere else inside the territory. You can also develop it into a city, enabling resource gathering, infrastructure construction, and military production. Be aware, cities cannot be relocated. Okay, in both cases, they take turns to complete. So, city creation costs 100. Outpost relocation just takes two turns. Artisan's quarters, specialist craftsmen, uh, harvest nature's most precious materials. I see, that costs 70. Okay, no construction in progress. Plus one money per adjacent market quarter. Extracts any luxury resource from the deposit it's built on. So salt is a luxury resource. You see its border is a diamond shape. Strategic resources have a... Okay. That's a... This is a diamond shape. Four-sided. This is... 
a shape of a diamond? <laughs> I forgot what this shape is called. Let me know. Let me know. Let's end the turn. We're kind of broke right now. City defense is researched. Great. This mammoth is going around. Can I build an artisan's quarter on here to get us more money? This extractor can be placed on resource deposits only. All the resources exploited by this extractor will benefit your empire. Yes. Let's extract that resource. Uh, this... This mammoth looks different. That one's brown. This one's gray. There's two mammoths in there. Okay, let's not deal with that. Let's leave and get this pickup instead. Ruined shrine, 15 signs. Off we go. Another one over there. Great. You are grabbing that. Ruined shrine, 10 signs. These are basically goody huts from civilization. Same thing. There's another one down here. The discovery. Let's end the turn. We've only got 17 turns left. Time is flying. Grab this. Animal remains. 10 signs. Okay, well, we're kind of broke. So I guess we just All keep right. scouting. Bronze working. Forged in the fiery crucibles. Bronze is stronger and more durable than copper and transforms tools and weapons. This unlocks copper. Okay. And we can build a castle, plus 10 fortification, plus 1 combat strength in combat for units adjacent to district. Right. We can build the forge and get the spearmen. Okay. So that unlocks copper. Gatekeeper to the Bronze Age. Copper finds its uses in weaponry, coinage, medicine, and decoration. So we're now getting salt. Um, we are still lacking... Um, the copper. I think we need to build... Ah, there we go. Copper mine costs 50. Yep, we, we just need so much more money. Let's go. Oh, this terrain... Terrain plays a huge deal in this, by the way. What you might notice is, if you're from civilization, you might be used to hills and mountains. Mountains are impassable, hills just slow you down, right? This cliff mechanic is sort of like the, the uh, coastal cliffs, but they're everywhere. They're just everywhere. They create choke points and oh look at that, we've discovered a rainbow mountain thing. Uh can I can I go have a closer look at that? That's actually it's down that way. Perhaps we should go this way instead. Look at it from across. This is just so nice. Wouldn't you want to live there? If there was high speed internet. <laughs> uh can we walk up here? Yep. Just cliffs everywhere, so we gotta walk back down. That's actually a dead end, look at that. No research. Let us go to the technology screen. Look at these illustrations, they're so nice. Um, let's grab... Writing, that seems good. Market quarter. We're kind of always short on money. Oh, our path is blocked by multiple deer. They're actually blocking the choke point. Well, there's a pickup there. One idle city. So we just got the the commons quarter. 12 stability. Okay. Uh, from your cities, you can create military units to do so. Yep. Let's close this tutorial. Do I want to build a military unit? I've already built a scout earlier. Don't really want a warrior. You know, for now... Get yourselves a granary, right? We don't have enough to extract that copper yet, so let's end the turn. Oh, we gained the population here. That's good to know. So now we have some money. Let's build this copper mine. Okay. Um, look at that. They're celebrating the construction of the copper mine. And now we can build this. One of these dudes. 12 turns? Okay, maybe we don't want to build one of those dudes. The 22 strength, though, compared to the 70 strength. Stronger when standing on a friendly extension. So these are, these are some of the abilities you can see. The warrior, as you can see, is just melee, close combat unit. Useful for protecting ranged units from cavalry. Whereas this guy is melee, but also has guardian. 
Movement is four, which is the same as the warrior. Um, 22 strength instead of 17 strength. Turns before completion. Wait. Turns before completion, 12. Remaining time, six. Oh, the 12 turns includes the granary. It's six, six, so it's 12. My mistake. That The number of turns here is how many turns until it pops out including the Q. Okay, no problem. Another idle army. We're just so broke. Oh, we can't embark. Yeah, that's fine. Walk this way. Okay, two idle armies. You're scouting through this jungly region. Let's go. The Great Blue Hole. You are the first to discover the Great Blue Hole. Uh, stalk the whole uncharted depths from sharks and all of that. Natural wonder. There it is. It's it's just it's just a hole in the ocean floor. Uh, now you. Oh, there's so many pickups here. Yeah, get that carcass. Make your way over there. So we're losing a lot of movement points because we're moving next to that deer and they have the 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 effect which restricts movement. No research. Okay. We can go into... Can we actually get into the classical era? Writing is right on the edge between ancient and classical. Sure, you know, let's, let's push straight in. Philosophy. Plus one administrator count. I think, yeah, administrators is what allows us to have more cities. We have one administrator. Do I actually want to build another city? It costs a hundred to do that. Like, I've already have this outpost doing quite a lot. Maybe I'll turn one of the others into a city. Okay. Grabbing all that. Yes, thank you. 12 per turn now, in terms of gaining gold. Now, this guy. The deer seem to be following me. These are weird looking mountains. Nice though. There's a lot of nice little details, you see that? The birds. There's like little animals, like look, there's, that's a fox or something. That's a bison? Are they always there? Yeah, they are. That, that's a nice little detail. That, that just makes the world feel a lot more alive. What's that? That's a, another wolf thing? There's so many animals. There's so many animals. Let's end the turn. We've only got 11 turns left. Jeez. All right. Um, ransack the city. Get us the gold. Uh, you are making your way down here. Do these things just... These things spawn. Like, I was here before and this was not here. Oh, there is a sanctuary here. Maybe I should be ransacking that. Grab this. Uh, can't ransack right now. That's fine. No, you're just gonna wait there. You ransack that. Got us the gold. Let us walk. No, we can't do that. Go around. Let's end the turn. Okay, we have enough to found a new city now. So let me take this one here. And city creation. Outpost becomes a city. Let's expand. We have an administrator. And our research is actually going to get us another administrator. But it'll finish after uh, this. After we run out of turns. Let's just keep exploring, I guess. And we've actually revealed... About half the map, I guess, if that's water, if we assume that's water as well. 
Okay, you, I want to ransack this. Because I think the deer are just spawning out of here. I'm looking for more animals. Do they just hang around everywhere? Yeah, look, there's like a deer thing there. This is a really nice looking game. Right? It's it's a nice looking game. And also, by the way, I should give props for all the new tutorialization. Last time I played this, there, there wasn't much tutorialization. A new event occurred. Animal magic. As the harvest season draws close, the common folk are worried with many farms scattered across the empire. Last year, an infestation of rodents, largely rats and mice, plundered granaries. Right. These events, they're to do with what you do in the world. So I built a granary, so rats can now raid my granary. <laughs> right? Uh, however, rumors have it that one enterprising village mitigated the problem by using cats. But you also know that sailors use a new kind of predator named a ferret. Which of them will you employ officially? Cats. Cats are bigger and can't catch all the mice, but they are more resilient. Ferrets. Smaller, they'll be more efficient even if they are more fragile. So this choice might lead to other effects later on. Right now there's no clear effects. I'm gonna pick ferrets because that's, that's different. Let's confirm our choice. And you know, let's... Let's select this city. We're not building that anytime right now. Let's activate science mode, locked for five turns. We're now generating tons of science and we're gonna finish our philosophy research much quicker now. Look at that. We're beelining philosophy. Okay, now you, I'm gonna make your way down here. We've ransacked that for 22 gold. I just wanna get a better look at those rainbow Rainbow Mountains. Let's get away from these deer. There's so many deer. Look at this. They're just everywhere. Look at this. There's camels in the desert. Do they react to my mouse movements? <laughs> that is... That is... I love that so much. Look at that. The camels run away from the mouse. I love unnecessary things in games. I love unnecessary things in games. I just love it so much. I, I had a feeling that the animals were reacting to the mouse cursor before. Do birds react? I don't know. There's birds over here. I think the birds not so much. The bald-headed eagle. Can I see any other animals? Yeah, there's some over here. Look at that, they, they start running. When you poke it. Someone had to spend time programming that. And huge props to whoever who did. I love that so much. Uh, you scout immediately right. Is this a traversable cliff? No. I can go down to that one. More animal remains. Um, yeah, just keep looking. Enter. A new event has occurred. A game of prophecy. With the empire thriving, a new game hailing from a foreign land beguiles the population. Everywhere you go, the distinctive game board and pieces catching your eye, insisting on a public demonstration. You play the game under instruction in your palace court, but the event has a sting in the tail. The game is reckoned to be a form of divination as well as entertainment. Gasps could be heard as the game's prophecy became clear. You are fated to lose everything. What will you do? Okay, here's a real choice with some immediate effects. Silence. If the prophecy spread, the results could be devastating. Every witness should be paid off. Minus 80. We don't even have 80 right now. Overlook. 
Let the people gossip. The prophecy will soon be proved false. Defiant on Babylon for 10 turns. That means we lose control of our people, I think. Heed. We must listen to the divination and prepare for the worst. Superstitious on Babylon for 10 turns. You know? Let's... Yeah, minus 5 stability. This one is minus 2 science. So do I want minus 5 stability, minus 2 science, or minus 80 gold? You know, I think I strategically we can go for the minus 2 science. Because we're in science mode right now. It doesn't really affect our science. Alright, let's keep scouting. What a lovely world. You make your way all the way over here. Ah, uh, Rainbow Mountains. It's Vinikunka. You're the first to discover Vinikunka. Natural wonder. Look at that. Site of daily worship and offerings. Also, do we have... Oh, look, our new city has been founded. Larsa. Um... Okay, Larsa. We gotta assign an, an, an administrator here. There is no administrator assigned to your city, meaning production is diminished. If there is an available administrator in your resource banner, left-click to assign it. Assign. It costs money to unassign. Look at that. And here, you know, you can just... Go ahead and get yourselves a farmer's quarter. We've got philosophy, so we now got one more administrator in the bank. By turning casual questions on matters of existence, of values, and reality into a topic of fully-fledged study, cultures can better understand the world and themselves. We can now build a school, and we get plus one administrator. Very nice. No, go grab that. More animal remains. You go grab that one. Old horde. Still have movement. Yep, yeah, move up that way. Let's pick a research. Go to technology screen. So. Usually, progression through the eras is to do with fame, but the entire fame mechanic has been removed from this scenario. So, you know, let's just get some easy techs. Just click on wheel and start getting those, yeah? We got carpentry. The art of woodworking is essential for bow making and lays the foundation for future constructions. Great. Complete your movements. A new event has occurred. Sins of the Father. The birth of writing has permitted word of your great deeds to be recorded and disseminated among your people. But it has also allowed a person's debts to be tallied. In the past, a person's debts died with them. Now they are inherited by their offspring. However, in the new city of Larsa, so see, the events really play into what you're doing. We discovered writing and we founded Larsa, and now it's to do with that. The political leadership wishes to strike these debts from the record for anyone who makes the city their home. What do you say? Ascent, minus 100 gold, but plus 2 pop on Larsa. Deny, prosperous on Larsa, plus 5 money. So we just keep collecting debt and making money. Or restrict. And we just... In the interest of fairness, only those with small debts will be given the right to settle. So this is the generic good one. Like, it's just slightly positive. You know, this is to make more money. This is to make more pop. Now, I want to know, can I t select this when I don't have 100 gold? Yep, we can just be negative 24. But we get two pop straight away onto Larsa, which is great. Let's keep scouting. And we've only got a few turns left. 
but we've had a pretty good look at the game this time around. This this is this is a nice little thing. Uh, we've scouted most of the map actually. There's like a quarter, a third left sort of thing. One idle army. Yeah, take a step that way. Ooh, look at that. There's pearls off the coast. Let's end the turn. Fishing. Imagine not a single fish caught with a crude spear, but a net heaving and writhing. Silver scaled catch. You can build a harbor. Probably a little late, but. Grab that. Old horde. Bit more gold. We're out of debt. To scout right into the unknown. Okay. Um, can I build outpost relocation, harbor, artisan's quarters? This is 86. I was just wondering if I could get that mercury. Probably not. Uh, harbor construction. You're able to build a harbor. Harbors exploit all coastal tiles within a two tile radius. Let's build it harbor it tells us to build it there the recommendation is probably the best that's where it's gonna be um oh right we're science mode so nothing gets built yeah we're not getting that unit sailing okay this is currently active currently not active Did that cost me anything i don't know i just turned it off 183 to rush the harbor, though. Okay. This is a big mountain. Off we go. We're into some tundra, snowy region here. Come over here. That's the northern coast. Now we've got two turns left. Follow me. Ah, there's a deer in the way. Okay, walk Come this way. Here. Okay. Can we walk up here? Yes. So sometimes, yeah, you gotta look. These are cliffs, that's a hill. You can traverse up this way. Is that a bear? That's a bear. Run, bear, run. Okay. Done chasing a bear. End the turn. Horsemanship. We got the ability to use horses. Research done. Knowledge is power. Carcasses. Let's, Let's grab this. Wait, what? We picked something up. Generals. To represent the challenges of logistical support for armies, your empire has a limited number of generals. Yeah, that's that's what I explained earlier. You could get more generals from technologies. Yes, close that. Um, did we just get new units? We just got some warriors. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Okay. So we're about to end in one turn here. Let's just finish things off. Can you... Getting down from this mountain's a bit of a pain. Alright. Well, these warriors are going that way. These scouts are going this way. We could merge them, but I'd rather not. And how far will you push humankind? That's the end of the game. <laughs> that was that was nice. That was nice. Let's let's enjoy the cinematic. That is way too loud. Sorry about that. Let's just enjoy it at this volume. Okay, so that's the end. Thank you for playing. This is what we did so far. Uh, not. I, d I don't think I did all that great. Um, the story of this encounter is somewhat different from official historical records, perhaps. But it was great. Memorable journey, nonetheless. Two outposts, two territories attached, seven population, four units, ten technologies, six extensions. That doesn't sound like a lot at all. Uh, perhaps you'd like to replay and see if you can do better. Maybe. Maybe. But for now, I'm gonna quit the main menu. That was our look at the first scenario in the open dev for humankind, Towers of Babylon. I hope you enjoyed that look at some actual real gameplay. Uh, before this, we weren't allowed to show anything off. Now I can show this off. And 
Yeah, if you have any questions, ask down below and I'll get back to you if I can. If I can get an answer, I'll, I'll get back to you. Uh, looking forward to Beneath Our Hooves, uh, Loot and Pillage, King of the Hill, and Wading into Battle. That one looks like there's guns, so some of these open dev tests uh, seem to be set in other eras. And also the game is scheduled to release in 2021, so not relatively soon. We'll probably get through these over the next month or so. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining. If you'd like to support the channel, please do become a YouTube member here. Uh, subscribe on Twitch or donate on Patreon, patreon.com slash GamerZack. Direct support means I run fewer ads on YouTube. So everyone enjoy fewer ads because I've taken off 75% compared to the norm on YouTube. If you're curious about what the norm is or how much, how many ads we've reduced, you can ask me. Uh, please do join us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at GameZack on all of those. Uh, thank you so much for joining and following over there. Also join our wonderful Zachalites Discord community, discord.gg slash GameZack. We're there every day. If you're watching on YouTube, click the buttons on the screen right now for so, so much more content and more humankind content. There's humankind videos as well. And that's going to be all for now. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.